Here we see, in 1897, Cuthbert Street, off Newtown Road. These are celebrations to mark the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria. The trees in the background are in an area now known as Poplar Estate. Also, the spire on St John's Church can be seen. This view, in 1904, shows the clock which was erected at the Cornhill, a word not used much these days, to commemorate the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria in 1897. Church Street, 1904. The gates for the railway crossing can be seen in the background. On the right, next to the George Hotel, is the baking factory shop, now a newsagent. This was the local outlet for the Highbridge Baking Company, situated on Huntspool Road. Nineteen fifty eight now, the level crossing gates are still in use, later removed in nineteen sixty eight. Little has changed on the clock except the lighting. In the early days these were oil lamps, then gas and finally electric. The original clock having been destroyed by a lorry crash in 1964, here in 1965 is the new clock situated on the same spot. Later it was moved to Jubilee Gardens which were opened to celebrate the Silver Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II in 1977. 1984 Hewish House in Old Burnham Road, probably one of the oldest properties in Highbridge. In 1796, a cluster of about six cottages in this area, then known as Hewish. At that time, the only other buildings were 12 properties around the bridge area near the Brew. Towards Highbridge now, from Old Burnham Road in 1918, gas light and school sign which showed approach to Church of England School next to St John's Church. Here we are now looking into Highbridge from Bristol Bridge in 1906. The spire on St John's Church can be seen, but the houses on the right, which exist now, have yet to be built. Early days, the junction of Bristol Road and Worston Road. The bridge and road were widened and straightened in September 1958. Pictured here is a Bristol A-type bus, built in 1925, used on the Bristol, Axbridge, Highbridge and Bridgewater service. Perhaps this picture is a little more familiar to some. A number 23 Bristol service outside the bus garage at the bottom of Bristol Bridge, built in 1935. The shell of the building is still there now used by Woodbridge Transport Depot. This view is the corner of Church Street 1919. The present war memorial now stands where the signpost is situated. And here we have that same view in 1984. St John's Church 1905, showing the full spire which was removed in 1911. Building started on the church in 1856 and was completed in 1859. The church and the vicarage built nearby were erected at a total cost of £4,840. The foundation stone for the Church of England School, built next to the church, now a private residence, was laid on the 6th of May 1863. This is a school group photograph taken in 1921. The adult school at the bottom of Church Street 1913. This was erected in 1891 at a cost of £420. In its later years it became the town's library, 
Since then, it has become a private residence. This picture is of the old London drapery and supply stores in its early days. Although the inside has changed, the outside remains the same. It is now a shop selling furniture and is situated opposite Norman's supermarket. The original social club in Church Street under construction in 1914. The present social club was opened in 1981. Shop premises in Church Street. No exact date known, but the site is now occupied by a bicycle shop and Aryan products. Interesting to see the variety of transport available. Now an aerial view of Highbridge, possibly early 1930s. The cricket field is now popular estate. The large water-filled clay pits, previously part of the brick and tile works, now Woodbury and Haynes factory site. In the background is the infant school on Burnham Road, which was built in 1913. Here are two items extracted from the school records. January the 22nd, 1922, School reopened after seven weeks closure due to measles. September the 11th, 1939, gas mass drill throughout the school. A combined picture of Highbridge and District cricket team and a Somerset County side in 1937, taken at a benefit game held in Highbridge on the original cricket field, now popular estate. This is a group photograph of the Highbridge Boxing Club, featuring boxers, trainers and committee members, taken around 1950 outside the White Hart Hotel. Boxing matches took place at the Town Hall in Market Street. Highbridge Town AFC Here we see in the early 1950s a team photograph taken at the Bristol Road ground. We are now in Church Street 1908. On the right are the premises of J. Stanier, later to become a Cox & Cox Furniture Showroom. At the rear of this building, General Edward Higgins was born in November 1864. He was later to become the third general of the Salvation Army. Just beyond Stanier's shop, there is set in the wall an original milestone, seven miles to Bridgewater. This can still be seen today. Nineteen forty eight now with an aerial view of Highbridge. The town clock can be seen in the centre of the picture. The old riverbed near the town has virtually dried up, and to the left popular estate is now visible. In the background beyond the Western Region railway line can be seen the large brick and tile works with its large chimney. Yes, there was a carnival in Highbridge. This picture taken around nineteen fifty. After the procession, squibbing was held in Market Street. After this, a giant bonfire at the Calf Market, now a housing development next to the Cooper's Arms. The evening finished with a prize-giving dance in the Town Hall. 